Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, somebody posted how you can make a box with the maker make a box that normally just makes square boxes into a pentagon or a, even a six-sided box. Well, I went out and shop made a little one, two inches, and came out pretty good. There's a couple of things you need to think about on your corners, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Pretty easy. This is a two inch pentagon, but we need, to, we need to know the length of the wall of each side. So there's your, a job for your parallel dimension tool is 1.24 inches long. So we're just gonna start from scratch. I made it right here already. We're only gonna make it an inch tall, but we're gonna make it 1.24 two, four inches long and one inch tall. That doesn't look right, but that is it. What did I make the other ones tall? Huh. So we're going to, we're going to use one inch by uh, 0.24. Now you will notice. And one thing you got to think about when you're doing this is that your joints have to be pretty much dead on. And you might even have to expand them or reduce this size. So we're just gonna make a tab and all it is is a males on one side and females on the other. But these tabs need to be a little longer than your normal box tab because you're going at a 72 degree angle and you can see I've sanded these off because they've got to run past the joint. So let's just make one real quick and I like working in the center of the page. So we'll move these and hit P and put it in the center of the page. We're going to make our tabs and don't worry about right now the size of your item. We're going to make the tab uh, long wise. We're going to make it 0.13. That's what your normal plywood would be. Uh, one eighth plywood. We're going to make it 0.2 um, in height. And now we're going to take, and this is a little bit difficult because the fact that you're going to, so I'm going to control D and move this one down to here. Now to get it perfectly in the middle, I'm going to select both these, go to effects, blend. I'm going to blend one time. I just want one copy that put it right in the center. Now, right off the bat, we need to break the blend apart and we need to ungroup them. Now what we're going to do is take away this line. So there's our mill tabs. I'm going to use the smart fill tool to fill that in. And what that did, that's welded all my joints together. Put that back in the center of the page. I'm going to left click, right click. And now we need to make the female ones or the, or these could be the male and female. So we're gonna control D and make a duplicate and mirror it. Now, stay with me here because we're gonna make it fit. So we need to delete some of these other lines. So what we should have done first is make a duplicate of that and move it out of the way. Well, no, we don't, we need them on both, take it back. So let's mirror it back. I was getting ahead of myself here. And we're gonna take away Nope, that won't work. What we could do is bring in another line, two point line and holding down the control button so it's perfect, grabbing it and have it snap to that other line. Now we can delete like this line and this line. We can delete this line and this line. So now we got two male parts. Now we need two female parts on this end. So there it is. And then we could delete this and this, and this is our item. Now I'm not going to worry about that little excess there because I'm going to use a smart fill tool and I've got a leak somewhere. It might be probably right here, this line. Um, take our rectangle tool and fill this in. And yes, I have a leak. So let's just take this and let's get the shape tool. 
Let's click on that. Click on that. That looks good. Tell you what we can do just to play it safe. Let's select all the nodes. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join. Whoop, I didn't mean to hit Join Curves. Windows, Dockers. I just used this while ago. It should be Join. Maybe it's Join Curves. Point zero two. I was right. And now they should be joined. And now the smart field tool should work. Nope, still got a leak. So that didn't work. One way you can always find a leak if you take your two point line and put it down and then use your smart field tool. So it's gonna leak on this male side and it's gotta be the line I put in there. Sorry about this. This shouldn't. Tell you what, let's move that node down there. Now let's select them both, holding down the shift key, windows, dockers, join curves, hit apply. Still didn't look like it did it. Nope, still got a leak. I can't imagine that anything's leaking here, but we'll we'll use a two-point line here and here and use the smart fill tool. So our leak is down at the bottom. That one works and that one works. So now we know our leak. That's kind of a good exercise. There's our leak right there. I can see it now. So I don't, uh, normally I would maybe think about redoing the video, but it's a little lesson. Now just test it one more time and we've got our leak fixed. So we're good to go. So get rid of these lines, excess lines, and use the Smart Fill tool to, to join all those nodes together. Now stay with me here for just a second because we're gonna change some things. You'll notice that now our box is 1.37, but we really need 1.24 between this joint and this joint, and we've lost some. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna make that a little longer anyway, but we need to make our tabs on both ends longer. The curve of your laser is all gonna depend. I'm gonna change this to 0 .003 movement. I'm gonna take my nodes and I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna grab those, move it down. I'm moving them down just slightly, but what I'm doing I'm making it a little thicker. On these, I'm gonna go up. You could really just do one of them. So I'm going up and down. I'm making the females tighter and I'm making the males larger. I'm making the females a little bit smaller hole. Now we're still not, so we're gonna hit P, put it in the center of the paint. We're still not to our 1.24 side. And you really need more than that because you gotta go around the corner so you have to do a lot of testing. So here's a way to fix this. Take your two point line Make you a pretty good long line. Hit P, put it in the center of the page. Let's move that line down a little bit, holding down the control button. Let's make a duplicate of this item, Control D. And let's go ahead and change our nudge factor to 1.2 inches. We'll take our duplicate and move it down. I'm gonna take the virtual segment delete key and delete this side of this one and this side of this one. Now we're gonna move that right back up so I've got two halves is what I have. I'm gonna take my parallel dimension tool and I'm gonna to measure from that to that. We got 1.11 inches. This is where the kind of the magic starts. Let's grab this outer box and let's change our nudge factor to something less like 0 0.01. And let's grab that and just nudge it till we get 1.24. I'd actually go a little bit longer because it's got to go around the corner. So we're going to go 1.26. Now we've got a, a line between them, but that's no, no problem to fix. We could do the two point line or just to take the shape tool and just join those two nodes. Now get the smart fill tool and fill it in. There's your box. There's going to be one other step. Because we're gonna go at a 72 degree angle, these tabs need to be longer. 
And that doesn't matter on how long you make them, but they both need to be a little bit longer in one direction. So let's grab our, let's see what our 0 0.05, let's say, take our shape tool, select those two nodes, move those out, move those out. Now we have not moved the, the center, you know, the, the uh, other nodes. So it's still 1.26 inches long. And the reason for this is let's go back to those pictures. And I filled all my pictures in while I go with the, you're, when you're going around this corner, these notes, on a square box, they would fit flush. But since we're going at an angle, they need to go a little bit longer and then you can easily sand them off. Now in this type of box, I just suggest putting a bottom on the box and not trying to figure out, and, and you could do it to make it notch, but if you just glued those pieces to that piece, they will work. And if you can see, it is quite a bit longer, but think about it, it's gotta go around that corner. And you could actually do something like this to find out how long those need to be. Eighth inch wood, I needed to move them quite a bit. So this thing is 1.34 inches long. And what did we end up making this? 1.62, but that's counting the joints. Anyway, I truly hope that helped him and that wasn't too confusing and thank you for watching.